A 60-year-old patient reported to your clinic with a systolic BP of 190 by 100 mm of Hg and heart rate of 74 beats per minute. So here the BP is 190 is systolic and 100 is diastolic of course and heart rate is 74 beats per minute. This wide pulse pressure is due to decrease in which of the following factors. So we have to see reduction in which of the following factor is going to cause this wide pulse pressure. So first of all I should tell you about the pulse pressure. So the pulse pressure is basically the difference between the systolic BP, systolic BP and the diastolic BP. So if you subtract the diastolic BP from the systolic BP, you will be getting the pulse pressure. And normally this pulse pressure uh, is 40 to 50 mm of Hg. So that is the basic range. But if you see in this question, the systolic is 190 and diastolic is 100. So if we try to find out the pulse pressure, it is going to be 190 minus 100 and that is 90 mm of Hg and that's why it is more than 50 mm of Hg that's why we call it as wide pulse pressure. Now uh, there can be a lot of reason for this particular uh, increase in the uh, width of the pulse pressure or the difference of between the systolic and diastolic. So some, uh, some of the reasons can be yes stenosis of mitral wall at the same time stenosis of aortic wall can also cause the wide pulse pressure. So uh, we will be uh, discussing a very important factor that is called as arterial compliance here. So if we try to talk about the arterial compliance. So uh, what is arterial compliance actually? Uh, this is basically the measure of the elasticity of the vessels elasticity of blood vessels or the arteries in this case right so uh, it is approximately 2 milliliter per mm of hg and uh, according to this uh, the actual pulse pressure should be 40 mm right and from here we have found it so arterial compliance is equal to the change in volume change in volume by change in pressure of the arteries right so that is called as the arterial compliance so whatever pressure is exerted by the blood on the walls of the artery and any change in the volume and change in pressure is called as the arterial compliance so whenever this arterial compliance decreases right there will be increase in load on the heart right so reduction if it decreases so what will happen the reduction of the arterial compliance will lead to higher systolic blood pressure and it will lead to lower diastolic blood pressure and this increase uh, generally occur or due to the reduced arterial compliance and is responsible for very steep increase in systolic blood pressure and just generally occur at age above 50 years of age right and there will be yes constancy in the uh, lowering of diastolic blood pressure as well right so the arterial compliance mostly depends on the arterial intrinsic elastic properties. It depends on elastic properties of the artery. Properties of artery. And it is the determinant of the propagation speed of the pulse pressure wave. So it will be determined how the pulse pressure wave will be propagating. And whenever there is decrease in arterial compliance, it will be responsible for both an increase in the incident pressure wave and higher effect of uh, higher effect of the pressure wave on the different arteries. So basically, uh, we should understand the wide pulse pressure that is higher SBP and lower diastolic blood pressure is a feature or a function of decreased arterial compliance. So if we go back to the question here, the answer is going to be your uh, arterial compliance that decreases leads to widening of the pulse pressure. There will be increase in systolic blood pressure and decrease in the diastolic blood pressure. So answer is 1 here.